All right, stand at the top of your mat in your Tadasana, your mountain pose. And let's have the feet a hip width apart just to feel nice and grounded here as we lengthen the tailbone down, roll the shoulders up and down the back. We flatten the shoulder blades against the back there. We might even open the palms to face forward. Lift the head and just take some nice deep full breaths in and out. Feel the breath as it comes down into the belly, rolling up into the chest. One big breath here, and then as you exhale, maybe even exhale through the mouth. Do that two more times. Nice work. Go ahead and bring the hands into heart center. Lightly press the thumbs against the chest. Stand nice and tall. Take an inhale to prepare and exhale fully through the nostrils this time. And on your next inhale, open the arms up wide. Sweep the arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, bend the knees and go ahead and dive on down. Nice, easy, slow movements to begin with here. As you inhale, rising up into your halfway left, roll the shoulders back, draw the belly in. Keep the knees a little bit bent if you need to. And then as you exhale, soften the hands down and take a nice, easy step back onto your hands and knees. And then we're just going to press back into child's pose. Open the knees wide, slide the hands forward, rest the forehead down. Remember, if you need to have support under your head, then just stack your fists one on top of the other or use a block. Just make sure that the head's not hanging in space, supporting the neck here. And let's get a little side body action here. So we just very, very mindfully move the hands over towards the right, but we keep gently trying to draw the left hip down. So we're getting a nice stretch through that left hand side of the body. Take a nice deep full breath in here. Release the breath. And then take a little walk out over to the left. Big inhale. Exhale it out. And go ahead and Walk your hands back to center, drawing back up onto the hands and knees. Take a breath here if you wish, and then when you're ready, go ahead and tuck the toes. Big inhale, lifts the hips up into downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal the heels out. We're pausing here for three breaths. Fingers spread nice and wide apart, grounding down through the fingers. Lifting those hips up, reaching the heels down towards the earth. At the end of your next exhale, go ahead and gaze forward and make your way back up to the top of the mat. Feet are still a hip width apart here. Nose to knees. Take an inhale, lengthen into your halfway lift, draw the belly in. Exhale as you fold down. We're going to ground down through the feet. Take a big inhale, sweep all the way back up, arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, dive right on back down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands run up the front of the shin. And exhale. Take a nice easy step back into your hands and knees. We're going to do three rounds of cat-cow. So on the inhale, we dip the belly, curl the tailbone, crown the head up. And then as we exhale, we curl the tailbone, crown the head under, press the mat away, draw the belly back towards the spine. Two more rounds, inhale. And exhale. Last one in your own time. Feel free to pause in your tabletop, take a little breath or two, and then when you're ready, tuck the toes, lift the hips, big inhale, lifts you straight back up onto down dog. 
Three breaths here. Feel free to move around in your down dog. You can be still. Wherever you are, you're grounding down through the hands, pressing the mat away, lifting the hips. Seeing if you can press your heart down towards your toes, looking for that upside down V. One more breath here. At the end of your exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees and walk on up to the top of the mat. Feet are hip width apart and grounded as you bring your nose towards your knees. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. Ground down through your feet, activate the thighs, take a big inhale, sweep up. And as you exhale, we're going to dive straight on down, third round. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale. Place the hands on either side of the feet and we're going to take a nice careful little step back into plank pose. Now, if you don't want to do plank pose today, then you're more than welcome just to come down onto hands and knees. Otherwise, we have the legs lifted, lengthen the tailbone down, slight doming through the upper back area, neck is nice and long, lift the kneecaps, feel your power here. On your inhale, lower the knees if you wish. And then as you exhale, hug the elbows in and bring everything down nice and even. Untuck the toes. Take an inhale, cobra pose. And then exhale through your hands and knees, back up into your downward facing dog. Three breaths. Last breath here. Gaze forward and begin the journey back up to the top of your mat. Feet are a hip width apart. Nose is trying to find the knees as you hang the head upside down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale. Big inhale, ground down through the feet as you come up. And this time as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center, close the eyes. Take some nice deep full breaths in. All right, while we're still warm, we're gonna get into our first round of our Yoga Shred inspired sequence. So this is very simple in the movement. Uh, I recommend that you're very mindful as you move through. And the movement here is simply, we're gonna have our feet a hip width apart, we're gonna lengthen the tailbone down just slightly, draw the belly in so we're nice and tall in our mountain pose. As we inhale, we're going to make sure that the weight is, comes back into the heels of the feet. We're gonna keep the belly nice and firm. We're gonna inhale, bend the knees, bring the hands out, make little fists with our hands. And then as we exhale, we're gonna press through the heels, bring the fists back and squeeze the glutes. So inhale, and exhale, squeeze the glutes. So the weight is coming into the heels, not into the balls or the toes of the feet. So I'm gonna use my little timer. We're gonna do eight rounds of the yoga shred sequence. All right, ground down, feet are hip width apart, stand tall. Inhale, slide the hips back. Exhale, press through the heels, and then bring the fists back. Inhale, belly in. Exhale, squeeze the glutes. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. All right, so we're going to pause for 10 seconds. We do a little dance on our mat as we do this. Plant the heels. When you're ready, inhale, slide the hips back. Exhale, press through your heels, squeeze the glutes. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, inhale, one more, and rest. So this is designed to get the heart rate up, so now and get a little bit frightened if you're starting to feel the heart beating. All right, ground down. 
It's really important that you move as fast or as slow as feels good for you, keeping good alignment. Keep the weight in the heels as you press up and squeeze the glutes. And rest. Keep on moving during the rest period. Walk it out. Ground down through the feet, belly in. Inhale. If you feel your alignment beginning to slip, just simply slow it down. And dance. All right, we're halfway there. Getting ready to ground, feet are hip width apart, belly in, tailbone tucking down, take an inhale. Use your breath here, press down through the heels, squeeze those glutes. Resting period, keep on dancing. Preparing yourself, good alignment here. If you need to at any time, you can skip around as well and just continue dancing for 20 seconds. No worries at all. And rest. We've got two more. Ground down. You're going to have strong glutes and thighs after this. Feel the burn. I know I can. Let's get one more in. All right, we've got one more round. Prepare your stance, belly in. Make sure you're sliding the hips back. Belly is in. Weight is in the heels. Squeezing the glutes. One more. And dance it out. All right, just keep moving, keep on breathing. Big breaths in and out. When you're ready, very mindfully, just make your way into downward facing dog, however you need to do that. If you would really, if you really feel like you need a little bit more of a resting pose, then child's pose is there for you as well. Wherever you are, big breaths in and out. Pedal the heels. Breathing into all the space. And then just go ahead and walk yourself up into the top of the mat, into your standing forward fold. Feet are a hip width apart again, nice and grounded. And then just slowly roll up to standing. Roll the shoulders. And take some breaths. It's 
So we're going to keep the flow going here and do three more rounds of sun salutations. I am going to do the sun salutations walking back into plank and going through to low plank into cobra. If you would prefer to do what we did in the first round, which is child's pose, cat cow, and then maybe a plank, then you can do that. You can do any variation that you want to. You just do whatever suits you, but I'm going to go into the high to low plank. So ground down through the feet, just like we did before. Slight tuck of the tailbone, belly in, standing tall, shoulders down. Bring the hands into heart center, lightly press the thumbs against the chest and take a beautiful big breath in to prepare. And exhale the breath fully. Next, inhale, sweep the arms up. And then as you exhale, bend the knees a little as you swan dive down, nose to knees. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Maybe the hands run up the shins. And then as you exhale, soften down and step back into plank or whatever variation you're doing here. If you are in plank, shoulders are over top of your wrists, tailbone is lengthening down, belly is scooping in. Take an inhale and as you exhale, very mindfully bring everything down nice and even. Use your knees if you need to. Untuck the toes, take an inhale, press the heart up and exhale into downward facing dog. Take three breaths. The end of your third breath, make the journey up to the top of your mat. Feet are a hip width apart, giving ourselves space and grounding. Inhale, lengthen. Scoop the belly in. Exhale, fold. Ground down through your feet, power through your thighs. As you inhale, lift all the way up. And we're going to exhale straight on back down. Big dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plank pose. Your variation. Take an inhale. Exhale, use your knees if you wish, coming all the way down, elbows in. Inhale, up cobra pose. Exhale, down duck. Three breaths. The end of your third breath. Take your little dance up to the top of the mat. Ground down through your feet. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Big inhale sweeps you up. Exhale as you dive on down for the last round. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale. Using your exhale with control to bring yourself down onto the mat. Untuck the feet, inhale, rise. Exhale, down dog. Three more breaths here. Ground down through those hands. Press the fingers into the mat. Feel the power there. Gazing forward, tiptoe up to the top. Ground first, nose to knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Big inhale sweeps you up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close the eyes, take a breath. So we're coming into our second round of hip now. Our yoga shared inspired moves. <clears throat> so we're going, we're still sticking with the chair pose, but we're going to add a lunge in there as well. So it might take a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, rounds to get your balance or just kind of feel into what's happening. Really important to keep the belly nice and firm here and maybe have the hands on the hips. So this is what the move looks like that we'll be doing eight rounds of four on each side, right and then left. 
So once again, as always, we're going to stand nice and tall, gently tuck the tailbone in. We don't want to round it under, but we're just going to gently tuck it in. Belly stays nice and firm. Hands are on hips, soften the knees. And we're going to take a step back with the right leg, bend both knees. So we need to balance here. And then we're going to press through the left heel so that we can come back to standing. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> cool. So let's do that one more time. We're going to carefully step back with the right leg, bend both knees. We're going to press through the left heel, come back to standing. Inhale. <sighs> Squeeze the glutes as we do that. All right, I'm going to start my timer. Find your grounding first, stand nice and tall when you're ready. Wade into the left foot, step back, bend the knee. Press through the left heel, back to the top. Inhale, <sighs> hands on hips. Step it back, bend the knee, back to the start. Inhale, <sighs> and take a rest. So you probably likely get about two in in the first few rounds. And then maybe as you continue, you'll get a little bit more. Get ready. Step back, bend both knees. Press through the heel, back to the start. Inhale. <sighs> Press through the left heel, ground down through the heels. As you inhale, belly in, hips slide back. <sighs> Squeeze the glutes. Take a rest. <sighs> Two more on the right side. All right, begin to find your standing position. Belly in. Press through the heel, back to the top. Big inhale, scoop the belly in. Remember, you go. At whatever pace is good for you, let's try and get one more in. All right, dance it out. Big breaths in and out here. Ground down through the feet. Get ready. Last round on this side. Ooh, going for three. Do a little dance. All right, when the next round starts, we're going to go with left leg steps back. Ground down through the feet, starting position. In your own time, left foot steps back. Find your balance there. Press through the right heel. Bring the foot back to the front. Inhale. It's better that you move a little bit slowly and get your alignment here. Press through the right heel, step it back. And rest. Who else has got their sweat on? <laughs> Ground down. Step it back, bend the knees, press through the right heel, bring the foot back up to the front. Weight is in the heels as you come down. Squeeze the glutes. Step it back. Step it forward. Slide the hips and dance. Got two more rounds. All right, ground down, get ready. Press through that right heel, find your power there. Ground, inhale. Dance. We've got one more round. I reckon these go pretty quickly once you get into the zone. A little dance in between helps. All right, get ready. Last round. Feeling strong. Press through that right heel. Find your power. Ground first. Inhale. All right, dance it out. 
Well done. Dance it out for a little while. Get the breath back. And then when you're ready, go ahead and find yourself in down dog or child's pose. Big breaths into the belly through the nostrils. Exhale through the mouth. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. We're going to come into pigeon pose, little yin pose, as we begin to wind down. So you have the choice here to slide the right shin forward so it's in front, right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left wrist, and we extend the left leg nice and long, and then just walk the torso down. And we're just going to pause here. If you are more comfortable on your back, come down onto your back, or flip over onto your back, and then you just simply have the soles of the feet on the floor, the knees are bent, and you hook the right ankle on the left thigh. And that's just a nice little variation, especially if you've got sensitive knees, or this just doesn't feel nice. So if you're able to, you might like to rest the forehead down. I feel like I need a little sweat cloth here. Keep on breathing. We're just going to take about five more breaths here. If you're on your front, then just slowly press yourself up. Move back into downward facing dog and just treat yourself really gently. If you're on your back, then just extend the legs long and come into like a little mini Shavasana. And then when you're ready, we're going to do the left side. So if you're in down dog and you're coming into pigeon, you're just going to slide the left shin forward, right leg back. Try and keep the hips even so we're not sinking over to the left or dipping over to the right. If you're on your back, then this time you simply just hook the left ankle onto the right thigh. Wherever you are, just pausing for a moment, closing the eyes, breathing. Feeling good about your workout today. Have about three more breaths here. When you're ready, just gently pressing up. If you're on your back, then just slowly make your way into Shavasana. If you're on your front, then just spend a breath or two in downward facing dog just to stretch everything out. And then we're gonna make our way down onto our back as well for a very well-deserved rest. 
So when you're ready, find your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Very well deserved. So make sure that you have the legs nice and wide, feet just hanging out, arms away from the body, palms turning up, flatten the shoulder blades against the mat, neck is nice and long. Take a really big, nice deep breath in and out. And then just rest here. Staying in Shavasana for as long as you wish. When you're ready, opening your eyes.